What's going on guys? I'm Tap. I play games. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our Smackdown Just Bring It Definitive Edition story mode playthrough. And in today's video, we're going to be trying to unlock Jerry Lynn. And let me tell you, this process of unlocking Jerry Lynn has got to be probably the weirdest process out of unlocking any of these hidden wrestlers. I mean, the things that it makes you do, like I don't even know how anybody would think to do these things in order to unlock something in the game. It's crazy, but if you guys want to stick around and watch, and if you guys enjoyed this series, well then make sure you go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe if you're new here to Tap Plays Games, and uh, hit that notification bell, make sure you don't miss any new uploads. Without further ado, let's get into it. So last video, we unlocked Spike Dudley. And I think, for this video, we should use Spike Dudley. Yay or nay? I say yay. Let's get into it. Look at little Spike, what a man. Spike Dudley, I have a huge opportunity for you. It involves you and the tag team titles. I can't give you all the details, but I have a match all set for you. You'll need to find a tag team partner though. Man, how many times have we done this? You don't want to form a tag team. I know he's got two brothers that he could be with, but no, 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 no tag team for Spike. Let's hear what Matt, Tajiri, you can't hide backstage all night. I feel like we gotta win the championship with somebody else. I feel like to Jerry being the champion is a little odd. Come on out here and face me in the ring. So we're not gonna run down to the ring. We're going to talk trash in the microphone. According to my little cheat sheet I got here off IGN. Don't start thinking you're gonna get a tile shot before me. Face it, you're washed up. Damn. No one around here wants to see you in a title match. Now Matt's fuming. Spike walked off like a beast. Now here's where it starts to get a little odd. It's coming up. Let's go talk to Frosted Tips Michael Cole. Why did you say that to Matt Hardy? We're gonna say that we were just messing with the guy. I was just messing with the guy. Try a hair in my mouth, that's... Always a lot of fun. He's a nobody anyway. Damn. By the way, the commissioner was looking for you, okay? So here's the crazy thing. We have two minutes to talk to the commissioner, but in order to do what we need to do, we have to let the time run out. So I'll see you in two minutes. Now here comes Vince. Hey, I was looking for you. What are you going to do for tonight's match? There are opportunities waiting for you in the ring. Okay, so... This match is a four-man battle royal where one of the men is Molly Holly? Okay. Isn't that my girlfriend? Uh, Spike about to be fighting his girlfriend right now? Let's see how Spike Deadly entrance. What an absolute stud this guy is, huh? Absolute unit, Spike Deadly. Matt Hardy, Dean Malenko, and Molly Holly. All right, here we go. I don't know if this one is an elimination match or if this is a just straight up. I think this is an elimination match. Damn, Molly Holly's gonna kick my ass right now. Come on, I thought, I thought you were my girlfriend. See, the, the, the one problem I have with this game is it's so hard to focus on one wrestler. It drives me crazy. I guess we should just focus on Molly Holly, our girlfriend. See, now, now I gotta focus on Matt. <clears throat> no. He reversed. Let's go. This is fast paced competition. This is a little DDT action? Beautiful. That, that's quite the taunt if I've ever seen one. An excellent match. 
I'd prefer to not use a finisher on Molly Holly if I could. It'd be nice if I could just beat up Molly Holly enough to pin her and then keep my finisher for the next guy. And hopefully by that time, the CPU will have taken each other out and then it'll just be easy boom boom win. But that's uh, hoping for too much, I think. No, I'm beating up Molly Holly, Dean Malenko. You go worry about somebody else. My girlfriend, I'll knock her out. It'll be spousal abuse, but hey. Nothing wrong with a little spousal abuse every now and then, huh? And is it really spousal abuse if it takes place in the squared circle? I don't think so. If we can go off top rope with uh, Molly Holly, and she might be pinnable after this. I feel like we've really been kicking her ass, so I think it's time. Yes, it is. One, two, damn. Thought it was time. I just still don't want to use my finisher on her if I don't have to. Look at that horrible face. Look at that horrible face. Oh my god. Is he talking about Molly Holly? That's that's terrible to say. Look at that horrible face. And Tuplex. It's gotta be it, right? One, two, three. Okay. Now if I can just taunt, let these two idiots take each other out. Both of them both have their finishers. Come on, that's gotta be it for Matt Hardy. One, two. Great, that's it. Alright, time to end this. But Dean Malenko's got a finisher, though. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my that might not be gosh. it. One, two, three. Woo, we got it. That actually worked out just how I wanted it to. Lost the match. Someone needs to take advantage of the situation and challenge for the World Wrestling Federation title. Dean Malenko coming out. Let's see what this guy wants. Listen, it's hard to believe, but people are talking about me and Spike Dudley. Who is closest to a World Wrestling Federation title shot? I'm the only one who deserves a shot at the World Wrestling Federation title. If you're serious about challenging me for the title, come out here. <laughs> but we're going to stay backstage because we're a bunch of wimps over here. You are smarter than I thought, Spike Dudley. It was a good decision for you to just give up. I'll be getting that World Wrestling Federation title now. So now we go to Earl Hebner. Oh, there's Michael Cole. Spike Dudley, William Regal is waiting for you. Okay. So now we go down here. We talk to old Earl Hebner, see how he's doing. Literally, that's all we ask him, is we just ask him how he's doing. Hey, Earl Hebner. Hi, Hebner, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. What nice conversation we're having here in this playthrough. And that's pretty much all we're doing, is just having conversation. Not all the punches being thrown. Commissioner Regal's looking for you, okay. Now, are you ready for what we do next? I have a great opportunity for you. You are interested in Intercontinental title, aren't you? I guess I say I'm not really interested. You refuse my offer? Okay, then you force me to put you in a different match. I don't get why William Regal is always going like that every time he talks. Ooh, William Regal talking to me. What's, what's, what's Regal want, want to do to me now? I was going to offer you a chance at the Intercontinental title. Man, they're really pushing this Intercontinental title business. But you missed it. So, so I want you to be in a different match instead. Go ahead and get ready for that match. Another four-man battle royal, this time against Triple H, Undertaker, and Chris Jericho. I'm gonna get killed. Did you see that? The contest continues. Oh, Man, I just got... So, I just glitched out, like, you're not supposed to get out of the ring in this game mode. And we did, so the game crashed. So we're going to have to restart this. Luckily, I loaded my save state. Just in case something like that happens. Because you never trust these old games. And there you go. So now we're going to restart. I wonder if the game cr like crashes every single time because like I was up against the ropes and Chris Jericho did a move to me and we fell out. I wonder if that happens every time and if you can if you can do that without uh, the game freezing. Or if that was just a freak incident. A little Boston Crab action. Hit Jericho with his own medicine. It's beautiful. Reverse that. Nice. Up against the ropes. Arm drag. Nice. 
See, those moves link together pretty well. That was actually pretty sick. So every once in a while, you link together moves in this game, and it's, like, beautiful. It's, like, it looks realistic as hell. I don't know how I feel about taking on the Undertaker, but... I don't have to, because Triple H is back on his case. We're back with Jericho. The one thing I actually just remembered, I w I've been trying to take on the smallest person, considering I'm Spike Dudley. So I've been trying to take on the smallest person, just so I can pick him up, but I forgot in this game anybody can pick anybody up. No one has their finisher yet, so we're still in good in good territory here. It would be nice if we could finish one of these guys without using a finisher, but Molly Holly ain't in this match. We're going to have to probably use a finisher on every guy we pin. Uh, Undertaker's got his finisher, so we're staying away from him. We're going we're gonna to try to get back involved with Jericho if we can. There we go. No, 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 no. Now, we gotta get these two to beat each other up. Maybe Chris Jericho can use his finisher on Taker. And then I can use mine on Jericho. That sounds like a plan. That's pretty much how it worked last time. Oh no, they're chasing me. Leave me alone. Run away. Nice. Come on, Jericho, reverse him. Nice. I see that finisher, Jericho. Lion Salt. Perfect. Let's end this match. No. Actually, let's see if, if uh, Spike has a corner finisher. I think he does, right? No? Okay. Well then. Never mind. DDT. It's gotta be it, right? One, two, three. It's done. The winner is Spike Dudley. And that's and that's all they gotta say. Three new unlockables though. Let's see what I unlocked. We got Jerry Lynn. We got hidden number 14 moves two and hidden number 27 moves 15. We're closing in on the end of this playthrough, guys. You don't want to miss any episodes. We're coming up on some of the best episodes so far. We got Mick Foley to unlock, Stephanie and Shane. It's about to go down. If you guys enjoyed this series so far, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new to Tap Plays Games. I'm Tap. I play games. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.